Melody, it's time for bed. I'm not tired. Can you read me a story? A story? Sure. What would you like me to read? Can you read Bone Soup for me and my friends? Your friends? Yeah, my friends out there. Oh, hi. Would you like to hear a story too? Yes? Okay. Today we will be reading Bone Soup, a Spooky Tasty Tale by Alyssa Satin Capitilli. Okay, let's get started. One Halloween morning, three very hungry witches were looking for a tasty treat. They checked the cupboard only to find nothing there. There, said Naggy Witch. Empty, said Craggy Witch. Only a small, dry bone, said Scraggly Witch. Only a bone. Only a bone, you say, piff puff. Let's make bone soup, sisters, crackled Naggy Witch gleefully. Bone soup is a perfect Halloween treat. The three witches carried their cauldron and bone far and away until they came to a door. The witches hadn't even begun to knock when the door groaned open. And there the scariest looking monster they had ever seen towered before them. It made the witches shiver. But at last, they were very hungry. Trick or treat, trick or treat. We have something unusual good to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone, said Naggy Witch. Bone soup? Impossible! Go away! There will be time for your tricks later, boomed the monster. Piff puff, it's no trick. A bit of water is all we need, promised Naggy Witch. I'm hungry, Papa said the little monster as she appeared at the door. Can we make bone soup, please? None of your tricks, boomed the monster. Piff puff, only a treat, Naggy Witch replied. And in a minute, the bone and the water were bubbling inside the cauldron. Naggy Witch gave the cauldron a stir. She took a small taste. Bewitching, she said. If only we had something savory. That's all it needs. But where can we find it? Look, another door, said Craggy Witch. Slurp. The three witches hadn't even begun to knock when the door opened with a hiss. And there the spookiest ghost they had ever seen floated before them. It made the witches tremble, but at last... They were very hungry. Trick or treat, trick or treat, we have something unusual to eat. It's bone soup, soup from a bone. A savory morsel is all it needs. Bone soup, impossible, go away. There'll be time for your tricks later, called the ghost. Piff puff, it's no trick, it's a treat, said Scraggly Witch. And as the ghost was feeling a bit hungry, a most savory eye of a giant was soon bubbling in the cauldron. Bedazzling, said Naggy Witch, after a small taste. If only we had something crunchy. And with that, the eeriest of ghouls brought forth a long, crackly lizard tail. Piff puff, into the cauldron it goes cried Naggy Witch. An unusual scent began to waft through the air now. Doors cracked open, windows squeaked wide too. Beguiling, said Naggy Witch. But I wonder, can a tasty tidbit or two be found? Juice of a toad, earthworms, dried dragon wings, drooled a bat. Colored flies, Hot and sweet, snarkled a goblin. Sludge, slimy sludge, whispered a mummy. Claws, claws, and more claws, rattled a skeleton. Piff puff, hypnotizing, murmured Naggy Witch, mixing and stirring, mixing and stirring. 
Wrinkled fingers, old toenails howled a werewolf. Dead leaves, cobwebs, and the wrinkless of prunes snickered a vampire. Even Naggy Witch had to gasp. Now the crowd was growing hungrier and hungrier and hungrier. Bone soup? Soup from a bone? This better not be a trick, growled the monster. He was feeling particularly fierce and quite hungry just then. I'll take back that eye, warned the ghost. And the crackly tail, grumbled the ghoul. I won't hang around much longer, sneered the bat. I'll use powers of my own, scold the goblin. Let's wrap this up now, mumbled the mummy. Don't rattle me further, clattered the skeleton. Oh, let's go, howled the werewolf. Before it's too late, snarled the vampire, bearing his veins. Bone soup, soup from a bone, they whispered. Bone soup, soup from a bone, they chanted. Bone soup, soup from a bone, they roared. Wait. I know what it needs, called a small voice. You do? asked Naggy Witch. Three taps of your wand, Scraggly Witch, said the little monster. Tap, tap, tap. Two spins of your broom, Craggly Witch. Whirl, whirl. And one wave of your cape, Naggy Witch, if you please. Whoosh! Naggy Witch waved her cape over the bubbly broom. Then she mixed, and she stirred. And she took one more taste. Slurp. Piff puff, imagine that, Naggy Witch crackled gleefully. Bone soup, and it's ready at last. Trick or treat, trick or treat, called Naggy Witch. We've something unusual good to eat. And as the full moon rose in the sky, the three witches filled a steaming bowl of bone soup for all. It was made with ingredients tried and true, and some monstrously knew. The soup was scary, spooky, eerie, bewitching, bedazzling, begoling, hypnotizing, and spellbinding. But most of all, piff puff, it was bone chilling delicious. The end. What part of the story did you like? If you like joining us for story time, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave us a comment below of what story you like to hear next. Good night, everyone! everyone.